Hey, and welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I am Darren, of course. Today, we're gonna do a quick walk around and take a look at the Evo flat top grill. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see what makes this thing worth all the money. I'll be back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, so the first thing I love about this grill griddle is the shape. I had the round uh, griddle on the cheaper side, the Quasinart, and so I really already knew I liked the shape of this griddle. Um, uh, just the round shape makes it a lot easier. It's 30 inches. The cooktop is super heavy duty. One of the things you need to know about these guys, these are commercial grade. These are put in the high-end outdoor kitchens. They're made to last a lifetime, so they do have a lifetime warranty on them. The uh, cooked surface is probably about a quarter inches thick. It's super, super easy to take care of, and it's going to last a long time. It weighs about 40 or 50 pounds all by itself. The rest of the unit is made out of 304 stainless steel, really thick gauge, and it's, like I said, made to last. A lot of the stuff comes apart, so it's easy to take apart and clean and move around as well. And it comes with that cover for your propane tank that's also stainless steel. All right, guys, so if you take a look at the back here, you'll see the it has two really big uh, rubber wheels on the front that are heavy duty, and then your stabilizer bars in the back here. And it does have a handle, so you can actually pick this up and move it around however you want. Really super easy to do, which is great if you wanna move this thing around and have other people help you cook. All right, guys, again, this cooktop surface is about three years old, and you can tell it looks pretty brand new. The burners itself are really super thick stainless steel, so they're not gonna rust out on you like a lot of the cheaper ones will. All right, guys, I just turned the propane tank on. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this up. So it does have a light uh, section on the knob. So you just turn it to light, which will force a lot of that gas out there. You can put it to high, medium, or low, whichever you want to cook it at. But if you can tell, it lights right up. It's got a pretty, pretty a good sized flame here. If this was at night, you'd be able to see it a lot better. But um, all the way around, it's got really, really uh, good airflow, good heat. It's really hot. I can feel the heat way up here. So it's definitely going to last a long time. All right, guys, we're going to do a cook for you. One of the things you want to do if you get a flat top is get one of these infrared thermometers so you can make sure you have, know what the temperature of the surface is. I'm going to go ahead and lay down some oil here in the middle, and we're going to put down some nice salmon with skin on, and we're going to cook it up make some nice crispy skin salmon. Like I said, I got the hottest flame here on the middle. That's where we're gonna cook this to make it perfect. All right guys, so here we go. Here's the final product. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is awfully crispy on that side. So I'm gonna take a bite out of this. I like crispy skin salmon, my wife doesn't. Super crispy, cooked all the way through. Mm-mm. Perfect. Check out the Evo, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, is that the same thing that Sam the Cooking Guy uses in his videos? If you follow Sam the Cooking Guy, yes, it is. This is a different version. His is a built-in. This one is the one with the cart. But check out my video next week where I do a comparison on the much cheaper Quasinart round griddle and this Evo, which, of course, is a much more expensive unit. But we'll see if it's worth the extra money. Check us out, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Check out Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations down below. Make sure you uh, check out the video next week where I go over the differences in the Quasinart and this Evo. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.